The Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, Yozuri, Evinrude, Lama Glass, and the Star Island Yacht Club in Montauk, New York. We start off this week's fishing forecast with Kirk Fay on the offshore scene. Thanks, Tim. Hey, everybody. Um, this is Kirk from Fishgack. I haven't been out since last Tuesday. Um, the weather has just been terrible. Um, it looks like it may finally break this weekend. I've already stocked up on more Ronzi's. I got myself a few more jigs. So I'm ready to roll once I have the weather. As far as where I'm going, um, in my back pocket, I'm going to always have the coin bro. That's where the fish have been holding. I think if the baits stay there, um, it's a great spot to go to. However, I would love to push a little bit deeper towards the edge. Um, and, and I'll base that on once I look at the uh, sea surface temperatures and the chlorophyll. We've had two basically um, cold fronts roll through since the last time I've been out. So obviously I want to check those things out before I go out. Um, but, you know, who knows? It, it's almost like you know, I have to start over in a way, um, finding where these fish may be. But as far as the Coimbra goes, if the sand deals are still there, I truly believe the fish will be there. And hopefully next week when, uh, when you see me, I'll have some good news and let you know how I did. If you head out, stay safe, and I'll uh, talk to you next week. Now let's see what News 12 meteorologist Rich Von Olin has to say about this upcoming weekend's weather. Hey anglers, meteorologist Rich Von Olin here at News 12 Long Island. Taking a break this week at the house on vacation, trying to get some uh, good fishing time in as we go throughout the Labor Day weekend. So a quick check of the forecast, a little iffy again. Looks like uh, we're getting more of those easterlies again for both Saturday and Sunday. Kind of a north-northeast for Saturday, maybe the better day. Sunday, more of an easterly, maybe about 10 to 20. I think both days we got 2 to 4, maybe 3 to 5 offshore. Uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Again, the, uh, the tropical systems to the south really factoring into this forecast. Kind of a monkey wrench in there with both Dorian and Aaron. We'll see how they uh, kind of play into the forecast for the weekend. But uh, going to keep our fingers crossed. Going to try to get out there, especially Saturday. Try to enjoy some of the fishing as we go throughout the Labor Day weekend. That's the forecast. Thanks, Tim. Meteorologist Rich Von Olin here News 12 Long Island. Have a great weekend. With our East End Report, we have senior editor Fred Galifaro. Hey, some good fishing going on out in Montauk uh, these days. A lot of quality fluke, 5 to 12 pounds. They're down on the south side, especially on the Cartwright grounds, Frisbees, Rocky Hill. Uh, a lot of big sea bass also out there with the fluke. If you uh, move inshore down off the radar tower and gurneys, uh, there's plenty of big porgies and smaller fluke. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of mixed sizes, a lot of, a lot of shorts also uh, once you get inshore. Uh, but you do have the big porgies if you want to target them. Uh, Bass-wise, uh, best bet still Block Island. Uh, a lot of fish over there. A lot, really good nighttime fishing on eels, but I've heard of some really good catches made in the daylight, especially early in the morning. Guys casting swim shads and plugs. Occasionally the fish pop up on top. Um, got an interesting report uh, just from yesterday. Uh, I'm sorry, from Tuesday. Mike Larson let me know. He and his buddy Rich, they were off the point on Tuesday, one of only two boats in the area, and they came across pods of big bass busting on bunker. Uh, they managed three up to 45 pounds on light tackle, throwing poppers. So maybe you know, the inshore waters of Montauk are coming to life with bass. Uh, there is plenty of bait around, so just keep an eye on that. Uh, Tim, back to you. Now let's check in with Mike Dean from Shinnecock. Thanks, Tim. Uh, fishing picked up a little bit, at least off the surf. Was down at the beach at sunset tonight. Got two stripers uh, just under keeper size. One taking a one and a half ounce white bucktail, the other on a teaser. A uh, buddy of mine was fishing not too far from me with clams. He got a few bass, a couple of blues. Uh, fish are a little bit bigger than they have been the last few weeks, so that's definitely encouraging. Uh, Shinnecock Inlet, just a tremendous amount of small bait in there. Still Spanish Max and Bonita are going through uh, about an hour, two hours into incoming and early morning. Uh, still some fluke to be caught, uh, but a lot of shorts, a ton of sea robins. Sea bass bite is okay, but the sea's been pretty bouncy for guys to get offshore, not to get offshore, to get out to the reefs. Um, hopefully that'll change a little bit this weekend. Uh, but this swell and the winds definitely churn some stuff up on the beach, so uh, Definitely worth getting out there to chase some fish. Uh, Till next week, uh, thanks. Catch them up, have fun. If you're looking for a quality fishing boat, one that's affordable, check out a Sea Pro powered by Suzuki. For less than $400 a month, it gets you to all the action. Visit Kale's Family Boating Center in Lindenhurst for a test ride today. There's been much confusion about what to do when you catch a shark these days. Fred is back to hopefully clear up all that confusion. 
Hey, Tim. And, uh, yeah, a lot of questions about the shark fishing, especially from the beach. Uh, a lot of guys wondering, uh, one of the biggest questions really has been, do they need an HMS permit? That stands for Highly Migratory Species. Uh, the answer is no. I've been in touch with Kristen Brown. She's a public affairs specialist uh, for NOAA. Um, so she helped clear up some of the questions people have. Uh, first of all, uh, federal regulations do not apply uh, within the three-mile limit, within state boundaries. However, uh, states, most states do meet the minimum requirements of uh, the federal regulations, and that's also the case with New York State. However, they are New York State regulations uh, when you're fishing from the beach. So uh, the first question is, no, you do not need an HMS permit. It's, it's uh, attributed to the vessel, not to a person. So it just doesn't exist. That's uh, basically the answer. Um, now, you do have to follow the same regulations in terms of prohibited species, uh, such as uh, sand tigers, uh, sandbars, which are brown sharks also, and duskies. However, uh, you are allowed to catch uh, blue sharks, uh, thresher sharks, makos, if you can find one small enough to catch, although there's a size limit on that I'll get to. Uh, we also have a lot of uh, black tip sharks and spinner sharks in our, in our waters uh, this summer, and uh, they are also targetable species. So, <clears throat> as far as uh, the sharks we can catch, there's a minimum size limit of 57 inches on, on most of those fish. Makos are different, uh, considerably different. I'm sorry, that's 54 inches on the minimum length, and that's fork length. Mako, a male must be 71 inches, a female 83 inches. So uh, good luck if, uh, if you can land one of those on the beach. However, there have been Makos up to 800 pounds landed from, uh, from the beach down in Florida. Uh, if you go to uh, DEC's website, dec.newyork.gov, they have a whole section on uh, re tips on releasing uh, sharks and uh, more clarification on the regulations. But yes, you can shark fish. Um, you do have to uh, obey by the uh, circle hook rule. That means um, non-stainless steel uh, circle hooks. And you also need to uh, make sure that, that, that those hooks are not, um, not offset, non-offset. All right, so if you're making up rigs specifically for sharks, uh, make sure you follow those regulations. Tim, back to you. From the Great South Bay and Fire Island Inlet area, we have Captain Al Lorenzetti. Hey Tim, little update on Fire Island. Uh, a lot of east wind has brought some nice clean water into the inlet. Uh, fluke fishing is going to be good this weekend with good tides in the morning. So I think that's that would be the key. That would be inshore fishing. Set your sights on, on fluke. Uh, crabbing is excellent if you like to do that. I know a couple of friends of mine went out jacking crabs at night just like old times. Lots of, lots of them swimming around. Uh, a lot of crabs out there and trigger fishing also good on any of the pieces inshore and offshore so uh, get out there and catch them up and have a great time. The West End Report is brought to you by Rachel's Waterside Grill on the Nautical Mile in Freeport. You hook it and they will cook it and for just 12 bucks an entree call 516-546-0050 for the details. Now let's check in with Paul McCain from River Bay Outfitters. Hello Tim. Here we are, we did a nice uh, day trip up to the Farmington River in Connecticut. 25 people had a terrific day. Uh, it's a short drive from Long Island, great time for trout. Now I did, my day really was made because I helped Paul Sr. catch his first trout on the fly. It was a terrific day. Uh, now, back on Long Island, the saltwater bluefish. Still bluefish are dominating the scene. Uh, the end, it's been really good for this time of year. A lot of bay blues and big snappers have started to show up. With all this bait in the back bays, it's a crazy amount of, of fish. Plus, also on the North Shore, you know, Captain Andrew and Captain uh, Dave, they're t reporting terrific fishing. Big choppers. Once you find the bait, you find the fish. Captain John, over fishing outside, he's still catching uh, tuna. He's uh, having a t It's been a banner year all around. The ponds are doing well. We're, 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 we're in the heat of summer. We're, it's coming along. Pretty soon we're going to have the small flies coming out with the fall. I can't wait. Can't wait. So tight lines, everybody, and see you next week.
Now let's see what Joey Leggio has been up to. Hey Tim, what's going on? Uh, we're on the street over here out of Debs. Bottom fish still remain strong. Uh, there's a nice showing of blowfish, which is pretty cool. I had out uh, my buddy Sean, a bunch of his friends, took him out to the reefs, loaded up. We had some nice fluke. Uh, we also had a lot of porgies, sea bass, and again, like I was saying, the blowfish. Great fish to eat, a lot of fun to catch. And uh, that's basically it. Really don't have much report. I was away for my birthday. So hopefully I'll get some more of you next week. Talk to you later, brother. Let's get the Staten Island report now from Mike Sentry. Thanks, Tim. Hey, fisherman. Mike Sentry here. Hope all is well. Well, this past week, well, same old, same old. Shorts on the fluke side. You want to hit bigger flukes, hit the channels, hit the dip of water along the uh, Sandy Hook coast, Long Island coast. You're more likely to get a nice size keeper there. Other than that said, wow, bluefish, snappers, that's all you're getting. Uh, sea robins, plenty of them out there. Cow nose rays, it's out there. Weak fish, hit and miss. It's very uh, interesting summer, I gotta say. Uh, on the striped bass front, they were catching them up to last week in the uh, New York Harbor around Staten Island side, some nice sized bass. But other than that, guys, it slowed down a lot. Just waiting for the fall weather to kick up. Hopefully hit some bluefin tuna, some yellow fins towards the end of uh, October. And uh, we'll take it from there in the fall striped bass run. So let's see what happens. So go out fishing, bring a kid with you, and enjoy it. Take care, guys. If you're in the market for a cooler for your boat or truck, one that is reasonably priced, holds ice for days, and is made in the USA, check out Orca Coolers at Marine Mate in Lindenhurst. Here's Fred Golifaro again with the surf report. Tim, in the inlets, it's still the place to be. Uh, mixed bag action with small blues, small bass, blues up to like four pounds. Uh, there's some bonita, there's some Spanish mackerel in the mix also. Uh, especially I'm hearing like Fire Island to uh, Mariches, Shinnecock, especially the two eastern inlets. The mouth of Montauk Harbor has had flurries of bonita. Uh, and Fire Island, the demo bar, has uh, been the most consistent producer. Uh, especially at night. If you're looking for bass, the night fishing has been better there. Uh, along the Southampton Ocean Front, guys are still casting mole crabs, uh, which are also called uh, sand fleas. Uh, light tackle if the surf is down, light tackle, little weight or no weight, casting them out, the fish are right there at the shore break. Uh, so if you want to give that a shot, these are small fish. Occasionally there's a 30 inch fish uh, in the mix, but basically it's short fish. Uh, there's, uh, there's still a lot of sharks. I mean, in Montauk, they're an issue. They're, they're taking fish, uh, biting fish on guys' hooks. You throw an eel, they're taking the eels. Uh, they're all the way down the south shore, still taking bunker chunks, mackerel chunks, along with big rays. So if you're looking to bend the rod, you know, you can do some of that fishing. Uh, but there's, again, I'm hearing lots of reports of bait. There's tons of peanut bunker. I don't know if you can see in back of me, there's loads of little peanut bunker busting in the creek behind me. They seem to be all over the place, so hopefully it's setting up for a good fall run. Till next week, Fred Goldfarrow here for thefisherman.com. The green flies may not be around much longer, but the mosquitoes are still here. If you're looking for an all-natural solution to protect yourself from these pests, try Captain Ron's made from pure plant extracts. It smells great and is safe too. From the North Shore, we have Mark McGowan. Hey, just a fast wrap up on this WICC contest for locals here in the uh, North Port Eaton's Neck area, all the way down to the river. It was a big grind. Saturday was uh, dicey with weather. Sunday was absolutely impossible to get out. The fish that came in to our shop were uh, on the low side for locals, but for those guys that, sh that uh, cruised all the way to the east and were working east a little bit uh, west of Orient Point and Connecticut areas, they did rather well. We had fish that, um, placed in the fourth uh, place overall in the contest and 13th place. Uh, those went to uh, uh, John Anderson, he had a 12.96 and uh, Zach Avery, he had a 14.96 and those guys placed in the contest. For this week coming up, we've got a new moon coming. Ironically, we started jigging up uh, bluefish to the three pound range again on Monday when the wind subsided. So fishing starting to heat up a bit. There's still a lot of bait, so that makes fishing uh, pretty difficult at times because there's a lot of options for uh, the bass and the bluefish to uh, eat. So it, you've got to change up, uh, stay deep. It seems like the fish were coming up uh, anywhere between 60, 90 foot range past two days. So keep your eye out, deep, 
deep waters, channel waters, and uh, for those guys working the beach on Saturday, Sundays, when these winds kicked up, they did rather well. There were, uh, you know, smaller bass and some bluefish in different areas. Most of the action seemed to me was towards the east end. And that's about it. I'll see you next weekend. Dave Yeagerman has a report from the North Shore as well. Thank you, Tim. Dave Yeagerman here, Salty Fly Riders. We're out in Sunken Meadow State Park. I'm with my buddy Mitch, and there's fish breaking out here. There's a lot of bait. This is a great place to come for fly casting, spin casting, very easy access. I recommend you guys come out here, Sunken Meadow State Park. We're in parking lot three. Tight lines, guys. Raul Ortiz, the urban angler, updated me that he and his crew took fifth place in the WICC Bluefish Tournament on the North Shore. Great job, guys. I know there's some major competition in that event. Hawaiian Dan is back. Thanks, Tim. Aloha! Hawaiian Dan of TalkFishTV.com reporting for the Fisherman Magazine. Back here in my stopping grounds off the central north shore of Long Island where I have to tell you the night and early morning bite is still incredibly hot. Look it, I'm giddy right now and I'm smiling ear to ear because it's so much fun out here and there's plenty of fish to be found. Plenty of stripers, fluke, bluefish, and porgies to go around rounding out that night summer bite slam. Now get off those couches, grab yourself a couple of packs of Tsunami 4-inch holographic blackback split tails and get out there and work those lights and the inlet points on all three sides during a moving tide and I promise you're gonna score that summer slam. Now, remember to spit as much aloha as you possibly can and no matter where you are in the world, you can choose to live the island life. Now back to you, Tim, aloha. If you'd like to be part of our weekly video fishing forecast, we are looking for social media savvy anglers for hyperlocal reporting from around the New York metro and the Long Island area. So if you're a captain, tackle shop, or an avid angler, contact me at libayrat at gmail.com. Remember, like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified instantly when we post a new video on YouTube. And of course, be a subscriber to the Fisherman Magazine to be part of the Dream Boat Contest. Until next week, this is Tim C. Smith, for the fisherman.com. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evan Rude Lorance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2019 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details now at the fisherman.com.